So we took, we're going to talk about the representation of the main characters in our film opening. And we're going to talk about Jack and Rory, who were the robbers of the film, in the film. Rory, would you like to start us off? Yeah, with um, at editing. I think that's a good place to start. Um, I think both robbers are very are in every scene, which um, which the main characters they are. I think that's quite important. As um, we were trying to um, bring in the main characters, so having them in every shot, kind of in the first two minutes of the film, kind of brings in and tells the audience that these people will be involved in the film quite a lot. Um, I brought in the CCTV to uh, show they like they're not meant to be there. Um, so it sort of gave a sort of a different vibe to it, sort of made it more obvious for the viewer that um, we're not meant to be there and... It made it a bit more tense as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Trying to figure out what they were doing and why they were where they're not meant to be. Um, so, moving on. Yeah, to the meet on scene, I think. Uh, so, Lucy, do you want to talk about the dark clothing and why? Okay, so... So we chose to put the, well, the robbers in dark clothing because we filmed at night, so it meant that they were, they're less likely to be seen if they're walking up to the house as well, and it also hides their identity, so they can cover their face. So we cover their faces as well, so you can you can know who it was. We try to make it like a typical uh, robber because um, obviously we use CCTV as well, so. Um, no, also if they're trying to rob a house, they're not going to show their face. So um, yeah. trying to cover their face and use dark clothing okay. to show that they're um, trying to, as it was dark, trying to blend in. And it will give a, a creepy vibe. As um, so, your stereotypical robber will wear black and they'll hide their face. And I think it also made it obvious that they were robbers, which we kind of wanted to do. So because if if people didn't identify that, then it wouldn't have been as obvious in the film. It probably wouldn't made much sense. They're um, both also wearing hoodies, which nowadays are the typical chavvy kind of robber kind of look. So we kind of brought that in to bring in the audience, um, knowing what was kind of like going on and who they kind of were and who they were meant to be. Yeah, and uh, putting on gloves as well, sort of show, uh, hide fingerprints, sort of, it makes them, um, so they're doing something bad, or, and they don't want to leave you. shouldn't be there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so camera. we'll move on to camera. Uh, we used um, close-up shots of, uh, like, the uh, Rory and Jack, Jack's faces uh, going into the room of where Lucy was dead, um, showing their reaction to what they were seeing. Um, also, the, uh, the CCTV footage. Um, <coughs> the high angles looking down the... The robbers. Yeah, we used because CCTV is well, it's generally in the corners of yeah, houses yeah. in the top corners, so we tried to make that effect by holding the camera up. Yeah, try to put it in places where there would normally be CCTV. Um, try to make it as realistic as we could. And we also did the uh, the long shot when the body was hanging, and we thought uh, that worked really well. There was a mirror in the background that showed the back <coughs> of the uh, of the dead the body. Um, we thought that worked really well with it. It gave us a yeah, creepy vibe. Kind of, yeah, brought in the creepy vibe. And uh, <laughs> and um, also using long shots um, with the car coming in, um, bringing in the atmosphere at the beginning, um, uh, really bringing in the music as well. Uh, also, it just allowed the audience to try to figure out what was about to happen. Um, also, it was a long shot of them walking towards the house which we also wanted to do to kind of give the audience a, a feel of that they know they're going to go into this house and probably uh, rob it or do something to, towards that. Um, so, moving on to the sounds. sounds. Uh, we, we wanted a, sort of, a lot of tension in the music, so it sort of builds up to something. For the sort of music, we wanted to look at something like Jaws again, so it sort of builds up, builds up, and that's what I think we did. We, we sort of debated to do it the whole way through or just yeah. some way. Yeah, we um, we kind of wanted it to be there at the beginning to bring up the mood and have people sitting on the edge of their seat. Um, as at the beginning there wasn't much talking, we thought that it, obviously there should be some sound involved in the um, in the opening. So uh, we brought in the music. We also thought that at the beginning we didn't have it in 
in our first draft we didn't have it when they walked into the room uh, where Lucy was. So um, we turned it down. We, we kept it. We turned it down. Then. Yeah, mm. but we we kept it and just turned it down a bit of a, a bit so we could keep it the whole way through. So it's still a bit tense. We wanted a, we wanted the um, sound. We wanted the music to build up suspense throughout our film we're playing, so it would keep the audience wanting to watch it. Yeah. I think moving on to our next one, we'll be looking at sort of films that have done uh, similar things. So we looked at Hot Fuzz. Um, Lucy, you want to talk about some of the similarities? Similarities. Um, <laughs> yeah, so in Hot Fuzz, if you. Okay, okay. They wear dark clothing, which is similar to what we do, because it's a sports stereotypical Robert would wear. So they're basically covering up, covering their identity, and it rep like the colour black represents. Let's see. <coughs> they were kind of um, they're using the same kind of clothing that we use for our robbers, um, showing it kind of brings in that they're doing something they're not meant to do. Um, the dark clothing kind of just brings in the vibe. Everyone kind of feels that sort of they're not meant to be there. They're about to do something that like they shouldn't be doing or. Um, Going to bring up the tension in the film. And I think the uh, the covered face is sort of a dead giveaway that they're obviously trying to hide from something or someone. Yeah. And they're they're up to no good. They're obviously wanting to do something dangerous, so that's why they also have to cover their faces. Yeah. So we both in both our clip and in Hot Fuzz they um, they cover their faces. We used um, masks and hoodies and things to um, cover all our identity. And um, yeah, so characters, yeah. Both characters hiding. They're like hiding. So um, in our thing, our two characters are doing it at night, um, kind of away from where everyone else was. That we were saying how it was in like the middle of nowhere, um, kind of hiding from everyone else. Um, and in hot, hot fuzz, they're always whenever you watch it, they're always away from where everyone else is. They're kind of in the corners Isolated. where no one can see. Yeah. Um, in like little places where you don't really know where they are, um, but then the editing is used in Hot Fuzz to show, to make us know that they are there and that something is about to happen. Uh, so moving on to the differences, well, yeah, um, so in our film opening, there's, <coughs> you don't actually see anything violent, there's <coughs> nothing gruesome, whereas in Hot Fuzz, <coughs> there's, well, yeah, there's more gruesome things. Uh, yeah, so in our... Right. Yeah, you know, kind of our clip. Um, Lucy's kind of just dead, and you don't really see how. Or you don't see how it happened. You don't really see anything to do with it. Um, with the hot fuzz, they kind of show you what they do and how they kind of um, build up to it. Um, and they do some of their their sort of robbing into the, during the day and yeah. after done at night. Yeah, which also shows that you can do stuff in the day, but. Um, it's more appropriate to yeah, do yeah. more robbery. It's easier to blend in with yeah. And we thought it would, it would sort of go in well with the uh, stereotype of a robber to do it at night. Yeah. Not really a murderer. Mm. Okay, so you guys got to go. Thank you.